what makes a developer or what triggers a developer to expand? I'm currently at Eco Verde Lipa right now and I will take you in for a tour for today's video. And I'll answer that question after. Stay tuned! <laughs> Southbound Properties PH coming to you live. No, not live, but coming to you from um, Eco Verde Lipa. Previously, in my I think that was five videos ago, I presented to you a video of a groundbreaking ceremony of a developer named Eco Verde Lipa who is developing another property here in Lipa City. Um, I think I was behind that. Uh, crane over there previously and now as you can see construction is ongoing so that just means one thing it's selling like hotcakes so here in Eco Verde Lipa we're dealing with um, townhouses so we have end units we have inner units we have corner units and we have a premium unit this time versus the other Eco Verde developments so for today's video I will feature to you the inner unit so the inner unit has a lot area of 44 square meters and it's got a floor area of 68 square meters. This is the only developer that would give you this very nice gate for free. It's a fence, it's a metal fence and you're allocated with a very good size of a carport for one vehicle, all right? And then over here, you have a porch for a 68 square meter floor area townhouse. This lot is quite big because you have an allocation for allocation for a porch and a carport and a fence. Nice, eh? Let's try to check out what's inside. All right, this is a turnover unit. So don't expect any fancy um, decorations or whatsoever. No interiors for now because I can still smell the paint and the wood and the dust, you know, because this is very new. So upon entering, you have a door here. It's not solid wood, but definitely it's quality. So the flooring is already tiled 60 by 60 and um, it's already inclusive of the LED lighting, which will give you um, electricity saving features. So aside from that, as you can see, it's very maliwalas here because they have a huge window over here. Just like that of Sahaya, I convert this Sahaya. Uh, this is a huge window for ventilation and daylight, see? Nice! This is what I like about Echo Verde. They're not madamot in terms of uh, ventilation outlets, like these huge windows. And then another window over here for your utility area. So that's, imagine the wind is through and through in this small of a townhouse, all right? So, towards this side, this is the actual turnover unit of their kitchen sink. So it's inclusive of this. It's not granite, but it's got um, very good space for storage and a very nice sink over here. This is a kitchen counter. So up to you, you can put a fridge over here and use this space underneath the stairs for storage or interior design it yourself, you know? You can imagine already what's going on. And then let me uh, go here in this area. This is the utility area. It's not that big, but definitely you can include this, um, or you can um, not include, but you can consider this as your dirty kitchen or laundry area. It's got a hollow space here until the top over there. It's like a light well in a way. And yeah, it's a good space. Nice. So over here is the first toilet and bath, by the way, for um, the inner unit. So as you can see, we have this water closet with lavatory. What's a water closet with lavatory? 
This is the lavatory part where you can wash your hands and it will save you water. Why? Because all the water that you consume here for washing your hands will go directly to the tank and you can use it, reuse it to flush the toilet. And then you have a very cute lavatory over here and here they have the low flow telephone shower head. Low flow, why? You see that? micro or pin needle holes over here that would conserve you water nice that's why echo bird is into all the tipid saving they call it tipid green uh, features for the house nice all right so this can be your living area dining area kitchen area so up to you this is very good for a startup family or if you are a professional living alone perfect for you you have a lot of space all right so before i go up please don't forget to like subscribe and click that notification bell for southbound properties ph so you can see a variety of homes that i'm featuring i just came from a mansion now i'm featuring an affordable home for you because not everyone nowadays can purchase or invest into a property but we do encourage investing in a property because you know prices will never go down for real estate it always goes up so especially for OFWs out there please consider Eco Verde for your investment for your future all right because you know those hard-earned money needs to go somewhere right anyway so they have a winding staircase over here and then as you can see there's no railing over here because it's located here it's a metal railing it's a good landing space good width good height so it's cement solid cement with it's not solid wood but it's like wood in a way so it's very nice it's painted already and then you have this it could both be an aesthetic feature at the same time a railing at the same time right Okay, so let's go up and check out the second floor. Imagine for, the, for a 68 square meter floor area, you will have three bedrooms and two toilet and bath. The first toilet and bath, I featured it earlier at the ground floor. And the second toilet and bath is here at the second floor. Again, they have the same features. This double purpose uh, lavatory and uh, toilet at the same time. Another lavatory here and their um, shower. All right, with the green feature again. Again, with that 68 square meter floor area, imagine your second floor having a hallway, a mini hallway, and a mini space over here where you can put another lounge maybe another sofa two-seater sofa or just consider this your um, cabinet area storage area plus here they have another big window for ventilation and daylight all right this is it so let's check out the three rooms starting off with the first bedroom so the first bedroom um, it's rectangular in shape. You could play around with the idea. It's not a, as easy as, uh, you know, optimizing a square type of room, but a rectangular type of room is not that bad. Why? Because it's, it gives you that length of a space. So, you, since you have a big window over here, you can put a bunk bed over here, you know, to have more occupants in this room. See? It's nice. It's nice. It's really cozy for the space so that's uh, bedroom one for you let's go to bedroom two bedroom two is rectangular in nature as well but this one is longer as compared to bedroom number one so see one two three five six it's way longer than the other one space width is almost the same but definitely another bunk bed would fit perfectly here. Why? Because you have this huge of a space for ventilation and daylight. You can do the loft thing as well. And they have ample power supply provided for. And yeah, an outlet here for your air conditioning. So that's bedroom number two. So let's go to bedroom number three. All right, this one is square in nature. 
square-ish. It's not a perfect square, but this one is way wider than the other two bedrooms. See? You've got another big window over here and another space here for decoration or I don't know. When you have that money money moment, you can just sit here and watch the rain from pouring outside for example <laughs> just kidding but yeah this is very nice and you can optimize this more because this is wider in nature so yeah so this is your um, three bedroom two toilet and bath townhouse here in Eco Verde Lipa now to answer my question earlier why are the development or why is the developer expanding so much all I can think of is just one answer because it's selling like hotcakes imagine they started with Eco Verde San Pascual sold like hotcakes in no time so they had another San Pascual um, development which is Eco Verde Sahaya check that from my previous video by the way and then now it's Eco Verde now in Lipa imagine it's selling like hotcakes again, that's why the construction is ongoing and it's fast because um, they've been op opening one cluster after another. So if I were you, please do check out or, you know, contact me for details because this townhouse, inner townhouse, is just 2.4 million. Usually, especially in Lipa, um, lots are getting more expensive. Usually you get townhouses here for a smaller space, around 3, 3.5 million, but this one is just 2.4 million. So while it's hot, please do invest here in Eco Verde Lipa if you want that startup home, especially for our OFWs or for, you know, for the, the locals here in Lipa, this is a perfect investment for you. So again, if you want to know more, please contact me in the number below or message me at cssella at gmail.com. So again, this is CJ Sella from Southbound Properties PH. Stay tuned for another um, Eco Verde property in the future, all right? So, ciao, bye.